everyone. It's Eric with His and Hers HHQ. Uh, this is going to be a Wednesday update on Ravel's 1959 Ford Galaxy hardtop convertible. Uh, and it has been quite the adventure thus far. So to get this out of the way, I'm going to say we're actually past Joplin. We are... Um, well, we're getting into Oklahoma, Texas area, uh, but we're still on Route 66 cruising along. Anyway, so as you can see, I did get some color, uh, a first coat of um, acrylic steel. I'm I really like this look. It's I don't know I'll dull it down but um, I really do like this look I may throw a very thin coat of like a um, light gray or something on it that might help give a little more realism um, I'm hoping though by the uh, next video I'll have more color on this and more detail um, as you can see, it's quite a bit of test fitting. Um, I did get uh, primer on everything else uh, on the uh, uh, body tub chassis combo. I did get uh, uh, get it cleaned up and get more uh, primer on it. So now it's pretty well ready to go. Uh, I've been playing around, did some test fitting with the body and the body tub, and uh, I really, well, let's bring the body over. I had to clip, if you can see it, I had to clip the ends of these. As you can see, this one is further back than this one in order to make this work. Um, I'm going to clean them up a little bit more, sand them down a little bit better, but it does line up the way it's supposed to. And I, I mean, I don't understand these body panels. Eh. Oddly enough, this one was too long up here, but this one, there, it's there's too much blockage going on back here so it's I I guess I got lucky I um, you know I rolled the dice and I got the kit that uh, is just going to give me all kinds of issues as we go um, but we are cruising along with this um, as I was saying I did some fit uh, test fitting and um, everything is actually lining up the way it's supposed to um, when I get the uh, body uh, tub in there it actually finishes lining up it's nice and flat and smooth the way it's supposed to be um, so I'm just going to do a little bit more um, cleanup on this and the reason being is because I have been playing around and I use that term loosely with the deck lid and the roof as you can see I got finally got the roof done and that folds up well it doesn't fold all the way back and I don't understand that I but I think when this is all said and done that'll sit the way it's supposed to so I mean it's it's not a big issue overall but it, it, it'll it'll work so anyway um, yeah, I've been working on um, all the test fitting 
and everything. The roof here, once I got these bits lined up the way they're supposed to be, and then had uh, all that cleanup, then I started working on this. I got this part together. This is the hinge mechanism and the uh, rear deck for inside the roof. And this is actually not that wide. So it frustrated me until I tried to go like this. And these two bits are actually supposed to fit down inside that rail there it looks like not quite up top like that but down in it I don't know it's but anyway it's I'm working out the fit issues it, it's just one of those frustrating things you know it's just trying to make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to and Make sure this works. I don't have this piece cemented to this piece yet. So I can continue to work with everything here. Um, and because I do bounce around with things when I'm working on a kit, I still haven't got the uh, air conditioner box. Thank you for pointing that out, Steve. Uh, I haven't got the air conditioner box um quite situated yet but the hope is to have it in place um by sunday's video anyway um now i'm going to explain something i want this it's not going to be quite showroom i want it clean i want it sharp looking uh, but I want it to look like you're actually driving Route 66. So the manifolds got um, a flat red primer. And once everything on the engine is situated, what's going to happen is the exhaust manifolds are also going to get a um, I'm going to blend a uh, gray and a uh, silver together give it that uh, give it that look anyway and the point is is that I'm going to apply it in a thin coat over the flat red rust color and, and that'll give me quite the you'll see it it'll give me the look of brand new exhaust that's well burnt off the uh well the newness because we are we're cruising route 66 we're heading from chicago to la so um we're burning off the newness I have um, the vinyl the tires are just uh, well the mold process obviously isn't working in my favor with those so there's a lot of cleanup to do with those they'll be worn but I hope not too well worn if you know what I mean uh, I did some test fitting with the tires and um, the hubcap and wheel backs. And the, it, I mean, once the hub, uh, hubcap is in place, it all just snaps together and it fits real well. My only issue then is I have to make the white wall fit. So, I mean, there's still a lot more to go. Um, real quick, guess what showed up in the mail? That's right. My MCW finishes Indian turquoise and colonial white. So I am, well, I think that's kind of cool that they have the bearings in there that, so you can shake these up. 
And anyway, so those showed up. So as soon as, well, the oddball thing is, is I have enamel primer and it came with instructions for those paints. And it says to use a good lacquer primer. So I'm going to go and see what the difference is. And it, again, there's a, I have a couple of junk kits that, you know, I'll make sure are dust free. I'll throw a shot of um, enamel primer and a shot of lacquer and see which, uh, and then working with the airbrush, test how well I can lay down some paint. And, um, once we do that and once we have the right primer we have everything situated uh, I'll be able to prime the body and uh, everything else associated with the body prime the seats because looking at the seats like the seats will be almost body color maybe a shy uh maybe a bit darker so i may actually go with like a, a black primer and um but otherwise the seats will be pretty well um body color with uh white trim uh it, it anyway it's I, i'll have to go back and look at the photos again to see exactly now uh, again, uh, well, it's actually morning, so I'm going to say good morning because it's almost one o'clock. I have got to really work out a, a better schedule, I tell you what. But I got my uh, masking tape for curves, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting some mask work done here and then um, one of the things I wanted to discuss um, so this is Wednesday's video we have something for Friday and Sunday already planned out um, we still have a lot more fit to go I'm hoping somewhere next week Wednesday Friday we have color on the car um, but we will still be a little behind because I have to wait until payday to purchase the Chrome, get it on the way. So uh, that'll be next Thursday. And then of course we have um, the 4th of July, which will also exacerbate the slowness of things. So what I may do if we're pretty well ready for throwing um chrome on this now mind you when i've got the body situated i may have um the uh windshield frame and the uh wing window frames and the chrome piece that goes here i may have those already attached to the body and primed all as one and then I'll mask everything off and um, shoot the chrome where it needs to be maybe because I I don't know I don't want to lay down a high quality um, paint job just to mess it up with uh, little bits of super glue as you tack that the frames down and all the other chrome but um, maybe some of you who have um, seen all original uh, galaxies or been around them can answer this for me on the tail lights let me see on these tail lights what I have seen, I, 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 it's kind of hard to explain here, I guess. Um, 
the outer ring is chrome but this entire center is red the lens for the tail light or is that inner ring there that little bitty ring here and then this bitty ring are red and everything else is chrome if you could answer me that that would be fantastic because I could have swore I saw a couple of cars where it was the ring or the two rings and then everything else was chrome but then the vast majority of them I saw is this is the actual lens and it's the whole thing is red so if somebody could answer me that the way it's supposed to go I would really appreciate it um, so yeah that's where we're at and um, again we will be getting this finished um, it'll just be a matter of waiting on that chrome to show up so what I may do if we are down where we are literally just waiting on the chrome to show up which I'm not going to stretch doing these uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jane Doe. Um, we're going to get to work on them uh, Sunday. I don't know if we'll get uh, paint on them. That may be two videos. Uh, the reason I do them all at once or do these videos all at once is because it's a little bit easier for us right now for my son and I getting the editing done and uh, whatnot, I can do like steps here and there and I like record one day, record another, record another day and then slap them all together and give you a complete build but then everybody misses out. So um, this is what I'm doing though for the moment is trying to do things all at once. So come Sunday's video we'll get some uh, cleanup done and um, I had a thought for prepping uh, Mr. Doe because his arm is supposed to go a certain way is I will do a mock-up of the car and then what I'll do is drill a hole here and super glue a pin uh, you know just a small piece of wire or something and drill a hole here so I can manipulate it and then once we have it exactly where we need to be I'll hit it with the uh, uh, to me extra thin and let it sit for a moment and that way his arms exactly where where it's supposed to be and then we'll get to cleaning him up and getting gaps filled and everything but um, if it comes down to having to stretch something out and maybe miss a video or two on the galaxy what I will do while we wait is I will well break out my post-apocalyptic build because it's really a matter of scratch building a few little things here and there for it and doing all the fiddly little details it's what I'm working on and I've actually been slowly working on this kit since June of last year so it's almost done it's just the fiddly bits the washes the dirt the grime you'll understand and if you know I break it out and you get to see it before it's done um, so that's what we're working on and we're hoping uh, we're hoping to be able to just get this finished by uh, the first week of July uh, but I can't I can't guarantee that's you know I it's it'll be up to postage and since it's coming out of Australia who knows how long it'll take it'd be just better if they threw those things on a FedEx or UPS airplane instead of tossing it on a boat or something um, maybe they do that I don't know okay so 
uh, that's where we're at with the build. I'm Eric. Take a moment, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Um, like, subscribe, share. Uh, feel free to comment. I do try to interact or um, reply back to your comments um, as often as I can. Uh, sometimes it might take a couple of days and for that I apologize, but I do reply back. I do appreciate the feedback and um, I appreciate uh, all that, uh, all the views. I, I really do. Let's uh, keep spreading the word of scale model building. Keep sharing the love. I'm Eric. Have a good night.